as you can see there's not a whole lot of um, civilization I mean it's kind of a very remote area any anything that we need uh, is at least 70 80 100 miles away you know, very very challenging job as far as logistics go as far as elements go uh, you know very harsh conditions um, our winds can get up to 110 miles an hour up here we had some of that earlier this year uh, it gets very cold that's why you see all the insulation on, on all these above ground mechanical piping uh, you know we get we get into the low teens during winter uh, definitely snows up here and during summer it gets hot um, you know, this, earlier a couple months ago we were dealing with 120 degree temperatures for straight three weeks I would say you know we were very pleased to have the team we have here um, that was able to put it to all together uh, very fast paced project as well um, we had we started last year uh, in February and our substantial completion was July of 2017 we're still here doing some work that was issued to us as a change order um, building some buildings and warehouses and stuff of that nature there were three different methods we used to mitigate dust uh, what you see behind me is some of the shallow flooded areas or shallow flooded ponds um, essentially what we do is bring out raw water from the river flood the areas with you know, up to six inches of water uh, that keeps the dust out and there were a few other ways we mitigated dust um, in areas where vegetation was possible to be grown um, we similar methods ran uh, pipelines to irrigate the areas and um, were able to successfully vegetate the areas. One of the measures that we use here in Hobo Lake is the gravel cover. On the left side you can see the original condition of the lake, lake bed. Uh, this soil right now is wet but when it gets dry with big wind storms become emissive. To avoid it, we roll fabric and we spread two inch rock on top. Um, so this ground is extremely, extremely soft. Um, you can go out there on foot and still sink yourself. You know, we had to use extremely out of the box um, you know, approaches uh, to tackle some of our problems. You know, we, we came up with um, these rock slingers that were built on a chassis that was for a dump truck we installed pipe you know we had about 40 miles of pipe anywhere from six inches in diameter to 48 inches in diameter so today September 20th is our first day of commissioning uh, next next month this time we'll be out of commissioning which is a 30-day period uh, we'll continue to be here for another three months uh, through the end of the year doing some change order work that was executed but yeah that by the end of the year we'll, we'll be out of off this job um, and all wrapped up.